has been quite a widespread frost as well. In fact, we've had the coldest night of this winter so far, with the temperature falling to minus 10.2 Celsius in Braemar. Now, a Boyne is actually minus 9.6 at the moment, but of course it's rounded up to minus 10. Southampton minus 3. And generally, it is a cold start to the day. However, in the West, temperatures are that little bit higher. And that is because we've got this weather front coming in, already bringing rain across Northern Ireland. Behind it, look at the isobars. The breeze is going to pick up, but it's coming from a southerly direction. So behind this rain, it will start to turn that bit milder. So some of us getting off to a bright start with beautiful sunrises, but the cloud is going to fill in through the course of the day as the rain pushes northwards and eastwards. A noticeable breeze out towards the west, nine degrees in both Plymouth and Belfast. But if you are going out to do some last minute Christmas shopping, wrap up warmly because it will feel cold everywhere else. Now through this evening and overnight, the rain continues to push northwards and eastwards. We could see some transient snow in northern Scotland and also the risk of ice on untreated surfaces here. And then we've got the next front coming in from the west, hence the higher temperatures in the west compared to the rest of the country. Now tomorrow, that weather front will continue its journey, pushing northwards and also eastwards. So we're going to start off on Thursday on a murky note. There'll be a lot of cloud around. There will also be some rain, the lightest rain crossing the south. The heaviest rain moving across Northern Ireland, Northern England, Western and Southern Scotland. Now behind this, Look at the temperatures. It will brighten up a little bit. It'll still be a good legacy of cloud, though, but 11 to 13 degrees. But in the easterly flow across the northeast of Scotland, it will still feel cold. Now, as we head on into Friday, which, of course, is Christmas Eve, well, you can see a fair bit of cloud around. We've also got this rain coming in from the southwest, pushing northeastwards, but staying largely dry across northeast Scotland, where we will see a little bit of sunshine. Still mild across some western and southern sides of the country, but in the northeast, well, it will feel that bit colder. And then we've got this battle going on between the cold air in the north and the mild air in the south. Now, exactly where we see some sleet or snow depends on who wins this battle. This cold air could sink a bit further south. The mild air could push a bit further north. So on Saturday, what we think at the moment, which is Christmas Day, we've got a weather front bringing some rain in across southern areas with a lot of cloud ahead of it. It will also be windy, particularly across the southwestern quarter. As we push further north, we're looking at dry conditions or drier conditions with some sunshine. If we see any sleet or snow, the snow's more likely on the hills, sleet more likely at lower levels. At the moment, we think it could be across Northern Ireland, North Wales, parts of Northern England and the Northwest Midlands. But that could all change, so do keep tuned to the weather forecast. John and Sal, just before I go, on Christmas Day in Perth, Australia, not Perth, in Scotland, <laughs> the temperature is expected to reach 41 degrees. That is almost 106 Fahrenheit. And if it reaches 42, that will be a record breaker for Perth, Australia on Christmas Day. Well done for wow. specifying Australia. And somebody <laughs> dropping their breakfast cereal all over them in Perth, Scotland. <laughs> Thank you Quite so good. much, Thank you, Carol. Carol. Thanks for keeping us up to date. That's a little warm even for me. Yeah, 41, yeah. wow. Yeah. Now the broadcaster.